Well, what we have here is an old Dell, another tower. This is a GX280. It's actually identical to that one there. Been a pretty good computer. Been using it a good bit. Just got this from my brother. He dropped it off and doesn't need it. And I could use it for another office computer, so apparently it needs a hard drive and brought me this old disk drive, but this thing is so old, I don't even think, yeah, May 2003? Nah, I'm not even going to bother, you know, using that. So, if I need to put another disk drive in, I've got a couple, actually, sitting right there. Two of them, and i got another couple hard drives, so, uh, yeah, i got plenty of extra parts I can put in this thing, but yeah, this is the clamshell style. I can do this with one hand, and nope, it doesn't look like I can. Ah, this thing is heavy. Yeah, another lock here, so let me do this with two hands. Oh yeah. Old. Yeah, looks like it's got SATA connections. Oh great, the phone rings. Stand by. Okay, yep, it's got extra brackets. We're holding probably the hard drive in place. Um, yeah, it's got an IDE. So, yeah, this thing is actually an IDE drive, but um, I'm probably going to swap them around actually. Use the SATA because those disc, those DVD drives that I got are actually um, SATA connections. And the hard drive is IDE, so yeah, I'm just going to swap them around and use the cables, and uh, I'm going to see if I can resurrect this whole thing. And if I can, yeah, I'm going to use this for another office computer. So, yeah, for free, yeah, can't complain, as long as it works. Alright, got the old disk drive out. This one, day code on it. Just curious. Um... I don't see it. So, but yeah, another IDE. I'm not even going to waste my time with those, so take these little brackets off and we'll get the one of those other SATA powered ones in. Alright, well, brackets are on. Bit of a challenge because uh, I guess I got an extra set for another disk drive, but not another set for a hard drive, so I guess I'm glad that I had the set for a hard drive here. <laughs> so now we're ready to go ahead and pop them on in. Alright, no problem with the hard drive. But I had to readjust the brackets on the disk drive. No biggie, we got it in there. So now I guess we'll connect them up. Alright, connect it up. Now I'll just go ahead and close up the old clamshell. Looks pretty clean in here so I'm not gonna spend time on, uh, yeah, on doing any more dusting, at least not right now. I want to see if this thing works. Well, that's a good sign. Winders XP, but that's going to be going away. Testing the disk drive, and it works. No adjustment needed, so cool. I want to go ahead and, uh, yeah, I want to go ahead and load. Windows 7 on this here thing. I yeah, see some dust bunnies in the old floppy drive. Yeah, that's too bad in the disk drive. Doing a restart on this. Go ahead and load Windows 7 Professional. Oh yeah, we're looking a little dusty, huh? Alright. Alright. Windows is loading files. That's a good sign. Alright, well, yeah, this is going to take a while. Plus, I got to get updates and then load other stuff on this thing. So, now that I've resurrected it, that was probably the main goal for now. I'll go ahead and just wrap this video up. So, until the next time, <laughs> adios.